All right, folks. Hi, everybody. I want to do this video because I want to solicit information from everybody out there in the Mopar world regarding overdrive transmission options. This video is going to be somewhat my very first uh, video that I really want to see what everybody has to say in the comments. And I want to know. And um, because there's there's some decisions that I have to make and I'm looking all over the internet and trying to find the perfect solution. I'm not sure that there is a perfect solution. So let me start out by saying, GM guys, you have all the choices in the world. You've got a 700 R4. You've got a 200 R4 that this Grand National has. You've got a 4L60E. You've got a 4L80E. Those are all great transmissions, and you can put them behind any GM engine virtually. Ford guys, you have an AOD, and then you have an even better electronic AOD that uh, we've installed on a friend of mine, uh, Brian's uh, 66 Fastback behind a, a Stroker 347. And of course, you have your stick shift options. GM, Ford guys and Chrysler guys. Now, there's a company called Silver Sport that offers both automatic and standard transmission options. Um, we put a TKX five speed behind the charger and it is an awesome transmission. I absolutely love shifting gears in that car. But I would like to have now an automatic overdrive for this project. We're building a Gen 3 Hemi that's going to be in the 625 to 650 horsepower range in A. And I'm trying to figure out, I'd really like to have an automatic. I would rather have a standard, I'd like to have an automatic. And I'm looking at my choices. So the first choice, the purest choice, is the, the automatic overdrives that, that came behind your Dodge Rams. Those are anywhere from the 90s into the 2000s. There was a version, I believe, that was uh, an overdrive version of the 904. I, I can't remember what the designation was. And then there's a larger one that was based off of the 727 that they put behind the Cummins diesels. I believe it's the 545. There's a 545 RE, meaning electronic, and there's a 545 RH, um, uh, which means hydraulic. That pertains to the controls of the torque converter solenoid, I, I believe is what that mainly is. Now those transmissions are much larger. I overhauled my daughter's overdrive transmission in her, I believe it was a 99, no, it's a 2001 Dodge Ram four wheel drive. And I overhauled that transmission, turned out well. It was behind a 5.9 Magnum stock engine. But it was still big. Um, when you go to put one of those transmissions in, one, you're gonna have to do a lot of cutting on the, on the transmission tunnel, and you're gonna have to do some modifications to the uh, cross member, the, the torsion bar cross member. The 545 RE or RH that became, came behind the Cummins, that's a six speed, but the automatic versions, they're very strong and they would definitely hold up to a Gen 3, but they're large, just like the, the Chrysler Automatics. They're big. Chrysler didn't really leave their legacy products really any choices when it came to an automatic overdrive. And that's the, that's the, that's the bad thing that to, on the Mopar side. So, I'm not opposed to it, but I really don't want to go cutting none of this car um, because it's so solid. And after it's painted and everything and gotten a lot of things. Silver Sport has uh, what they call an A41 automatic. And it's based on a GM 4L60E transmission. Um, it's a bolt-in. Very, very little has to be done to bolt it up to the Hemi. It's just, it's, 
uh, got its sm it's a small transmission. Very little. I think a pinch weld has to be removed on it, and that's it. And it goes in. Comes with all the the, the cross member, um, everything to bolt it into the car. Yes, it's a GM transmission, but you know, how many people are gonna? I guess they go look under the car and let's see, right? Then there's another option. Two more options actually. There's the Nag One that came behind your Chrysler 300s from it's a five-speed automatic and i believe that came from 2005 six all the way up to 2014 maybe 12 14. solid transmission uh very strong obviously it'll hold up to the gen 3. Uh, the problem is is the shifter mechanism i think you have to run that silly looking automatic shifter that you see in the 300s and the challengers and the chargers i don't want that in my car i want something that's more period correct and then the last thing is and i've even seen gm people adapt these to some of their cars is the chrysler a8 transmission that came behind your hellcats in the automatic version and demons and i think it's the only thing that comes behind demons if i'm not mistaken it's an eight-speed transmission. So good Lord, it would be, the more, trend, the more gears you have obviously makes up for a lot. I know that the A8, I would definitely have to do some cutting because it does have a lot of girth. There's a lot of fabrication and it's a very expensive option. I don't know how many sensors are required for that. Um, if it has to have wheel sensors, I don't want to get into any of that. But if people have done that, if people have used an A8 behind a Gen 3 in an A-body Mopar or even a B-body or E-body Mopar, I'd like to know. If you've used a NAG1 transmission and you put it behind in one of these older cars um, and you've done a Hemi swap, I would like to know what your input is. What, what's your opinion? Um, we all know that the overdrives are really, if you're going to do a street car, one of these older cars, any of them, you, you really need, you don't have to have it, but I don't like my engine singing at 3000 RPM, 3500 RPM for long periods of time going down the highway. This, the five speed in the charger has already spoiled me as far as a street car goes. So, um, this is an interactive, uh, video. I'm trying to solicit everybody's opinion on the overdrive options, specifically automatics, not the standards, not a manual transmission, but an automatic transmission option behind a, uh, in a, in a classic Mopar with a Gen 3 swap. So please put your comments. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm trying, I'm learning on this. So hope everybody has a good day and thank you.